Hey, this is Mike. Just got in this Ram 1500 2015. Now this is the limited Laramie Longhorn limited edition. Now this is the first one I've seen that wasn't a diesel, the Eco Diesel. So this is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 gas engine, and uh, it's the Longhorn limited, and the color is granite. And this truck just came in. So it's not completely clean yet. It still has some of the markings on the tires. But look at those wheels. It's got nice, um, you know, solid aluminum wheels. There's no plastic coverings or anything like that on those. This one has the side steps from the factory. And you have your uh, parking sensors here in the front as well as the back. The grill really stands out to me. It has like a wire mesh, I guess you can say. I'm not really sure what the correct terminology is for that. But uh, it does have the projector headlights and the LED accents here in the front. And it does have kind of standard fog lights they're not projector or LED or anything like that now this truck does have the air ride suspension system and you can adjust the height um, you can also start it up I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now has the, rem the remote start and that will um, that will work up to uh, 100 yards away so it goes pretty far so I'm going to go ahead and lower the vehicle. And it does the front and the back. I don't know if you can see it lowering. Alright, I think that's as low as this is going to go. It lowers the front a little bit and then the back a little bit and it slowly does that until it gets the uh, the height that you want and um, and then you know same thing going back up so I'm gonna go ahead and open up unlock the doors which I don't have to use the key fob to do that I can, I'm gonna relock it just to show you I'm gonna put the key fob in my pocket and just touch the handle here because it does have a proximity key and I can relock it by pushing this button I don't actually have to take the key out of my pocket to use the vehicle. But here's the inside of the passenger side door. And you see you've got some filigree designs here. And then you have the, uh, the real wood, ebony wood here on the inside. Leather stitched. Pockets everywhere. It's got a nice ram threshold here limited uh, floor mats so like rubber with a carpet insert there power seat is for as well as power lumbar adjustments here on the seat on the passenger side you see this is limited Laramie limited and it has the filigree designs here on the seats perforated leather that's heated and cooled here in the front and heated in the back is limited. Open that up. You've got some like a glove compartment there as well as here. Premium, premium, awesome truck. I mean it's just I, I took it for a ride yesterday with a customer and it was just smooth as glass. Now you've got a, a place here. This is a this is a storage pocket that's designed for a full-size file folder, but you can put papers, mail, anything. You know, you get in the vehicle and you kind of have a lot of papers or mail or something in your hand and you need a place to put it. That's the perfect spot. There's one on both sides. So there's the inside of the back door. And you see they're not skimping on style or um, quality here in the back at all. And these are the back seats. You got the filigree on the back seats as well. 
and you got these belt buckle looking things it's actually a magnet that, that hooks up but it has a pocket here and this comes down and snaps on the magnet but it looks really cool now the seats lift up now this one has a premium Alpine sound system so it's, this is where your uh, subwoofer and amplifier will be uh, some some vehicles that do not have the uh, Alpine will have this as storage space and you do have some more storage space here underneath the floor mat is a storage container and it's a it's kind of like a little waste basket basket looking thing but you can use it for a cooler or uh, storage trash anything you want this is a fold flat uh, piece here so that way you can fold it out and you can put stuff here in the back has these little legs that fold down cup holders are here there's your uh, buttons for your heated seats here in the back you've got some vents here in the back you've got a power supply here you also have vents here underneath the seat a little light here you got I've got a video on a, a Ram uh, 1500 truck at night so you can see kind of all the little lights that are in it see it's it's very handy and well placed lights there's the ram symbol on the side of the headrest there this does fold down you have an armrest as well as two more cup holders you got some speakers here in the in the ceiling got the dual exhaust here this one also has the towing package has the two plugs there got your towing hitch there backup cam uh, sensors as well as a backup camera here got the ram Let's see what it looks like down there yeah, tell me what it looks like because I can't see all right it's got the big four-wheel drive words and the limited here in the back. Now unlocking the doors also unlocks the tailgate. So I can lower the tailgate pretty easy with one hand. It's a very lightweight, I guess you can say. And when you push the lock button on the key fob or on the side of the truck, it will lock the tailgate as well. This one has the factory spray and bed liner. fuel caps here it does have a cargo light here in the back which I show you in the in the night video storage container just like on the other side here and the seat folds up and you have storage under the seat on this side now the, the seats back here do they have the uh, child restraint system called latch so you do have that heated side mirrors and there's your you know you see your proximity sensors are on the, the on the front doors you see where it shows the the button there back doors do not have that button therefore if you put your hand there it's not going to unlock the doors all right here's the inside of the driver's door see it's got all the designs as the other doors now this one has the you know since this is the driver's door you've got your all your power windows your door locks your side mirror controls as well as you can fold in your side mirrors by pushing this button that button there both the side mirrors fold in and out automatic headlights there's your cargo light there's your dimmer switch Adjustable pedals, tilt steering wheel, no telescopic steering wheel, but it is a tilt. The adjustable pedals kind of help out with the uh, lack of telescoping uh, steering wheel. It does have a memory seat for your power adjustments there. 
And I took my coat off because it was kind of getting warm, so I'm going to throw it over there. All right, so I used the remote start, so I still have to push this button to turn everything on. And right now, just to show you, we are at entry and exit height. Oh, no, hold on a second, let me get a little closer there. See right there? That's my height. Uh, I'm going to scroll down and let's see if I can find it. There we go. All right, so well, that's where I'm at now. I'm going to go ahead and lift the truck up to normal height. It, if you start driving, it'll automatically do this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. You can see on the on the screen there that it's going up. Now, it's going to give you an indicator here while it's lifting up. It's going to flash. And it's going to flash here where it says raising. And let you know that it is in motion. Now, if the truck has the door open or something like that, it's not going to lower back down, I don't think. I think there's a safety, if I remember correctly, as far as that goes. But raising up. And it takes a little, you know, it takes a few moments there to lift, to move the truck. It's not going to, like, jump up or anything. Because it does the front and the back separately. All right, so we're wait, while we're waiting on that, let's check everything else out. Got the limited symbol there. And here, here's a steering wheel. It is a leather wrap steering wheel with a wood, real wood piece up here. And it's very grippy. It looks kind of shiny, but it's very grippy. You put your hands there and you're not sliding. Actually, the leather, you slide. When you get up here, it doesn't slide. So I, th I think that's really really neat feature. Now it's not as soft as the leather of course because it's wood but um, it is a heated steering wheel and you know it's pretty comfortable. It has a good thickness to it so you're not digging, it's not really digging in your hands anyway. So on the right side here we have the, um, let me shut the door, might, that might be the hold up on the air suspension maybe. There we go. Height, normal ride height achieved. Okay, so it goes back to that screen. All right, moving on. Cruise control on this side, on the back of the steering wheel, is the volume button. On the back of the steering wheel on this side is change to the stations. And your Bluetooth button is here, and your voice recognition button is there. So, basically, once you pair your phone, you can push this button, make calls, and receive calls. Voice recognition is you can bark out commands like turn to a certain station or call a certain person in your phone book, stuff like that. So, and these arrow buttons here correspond to this menu system like I was scrolling through before. Now, right now we're in the uh, vehicle info screen. So I'm going to scroll to the left just so you can see what other information you can get in this screen. You can go left or right, doesn't matter. You see the little, little bubbles there at the top to kind of tell you that you have other options on the screen. It's going to scroll, keep scrolling back to the same information if you keep scrolling. Now I'm going to scroll down, and it gives me, I don't know if you can see, has little, has a little um, icons here to tell you what screen you're in. Getting a little bit of a glare from the sun, so hopefully you can see that. So, all right, so right, that that is the. Uh, miles per gallon is kind of in real time as you're driving and it's not showing anything so since we're sitting still this is your uh, trip A trip B I like the way it has the the time and the average mile per hour and all that stuff audio stored messages will be here and your screen setup you can actually change the things that you have on the corners so like right now it has the the direction the vehicle is facing, the compass, and on the other side is the temperature on the outside. Feels a little bit warmer than 51 to me, but um, I'm kind of like that. So, all right, you got your speedometer right there, and it's scrolling back to the vehicle info screen. So I'm going to put it back up to the speedometer and, and leave it there. You can see you have your gauges and stuff. You have some stitching here on the on the dash there's your push button start cool ram symbol there I like the way it kind of pops out it's like a three-dimensional
badge, I guess you can say. All right, up here we've got a pocket to put some stuff, wood grain around it, like an ebony. With, uh, now I like the way it's ebony, but it has like a white grain in it. I don't know how they achieved that, but it looks pretty cool. And here's your 8.4 uh, inch Uconnect system. Now, getting a little bit of a glare. Now in the camera, it looks like the glare is worse than what it is. And just real life, looking at it, it doesn't look that bad, but um, you see it pretty well. Because it is kind of like a matte surface to the touch screen. But anyway, here's the icons across the bottom. We have a radio icon, uh, which you can access all your, your AM, FM, and satellite radio. Your media, this is where you can connect a, um, a USB, auxiliary, SD card, Bluetooth device to this, as well as a CD, which I'll show you where all that stuff is in a second. And, um, and you play your stuff through there. You play your music, your audio. Here's where you can find your heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, and um, all that good stuff. And also your settings, which is pretty involved. has a lot of different uh, things that you can adjust. All right, so moving on to climate. Climate control is off, so I'm going to turn it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just to kind of so you can see what the screen is. And you know, you basically have your adjustments on both sides for the driver and passenger. You can sync them if you want. And you also have buttons down here, but this is kind of a, you know, you kind of have two ways of doing the same thing, which is handy sometimes. Navigation, you can view the map like so. And, um, you know, this is a Garmin system. Everything's easy to read. Here are a lot of complaints about other manufacturers that have really tiny letters and they can't really read it while they're trying to focus on the road and it's a little distracting. But this one is a lot easier to read. So you can also put an address. You start off with the, you know, state and stuff like that. Country, state, and go down. You can put your home address and all that. Phone. Once you pair your phone to the system, Bluetooth, You'll have uh, your phone book, recent calls. You can also transfer back to your cell phone if you're in the middle of a call using this button. And you know, everything's kind of blacked out now because there's no phone uh, paired with it, but everything kind of comes to life once you pair a phone. You can access apps. Uh, this is where you do have to register for some of this stuff and some of it will use your mo uh, your data on your mobile phones so you want to be aware of that see it says via mobile but one of the cool things is travel link you go into uh, different things but if you're in a place that you're not familiar with you can find the nearest gas station you can also see the price and the brand you can sort it by price you can sort it by distance you can sort it by brand and let's say you wanted to go to the nearest one so I just clicked that one it shows me the address it shows me the phone number and um, you can put hit call or go now it'll take you right there you can call them up and ask them you know if they got a certain thing that you're looking for if they have synthetic oil or something like that or clean restrooms but that's a pretty cool feature of the travel link it does require navigation and satellite radio combined uh, to use that feature but um, it's really really handy you do have a weather map you have weather and then go to 100 miles so it's clear skies now but um, let's go to 300 miles maybe it'll show some clouds 600 miles not a lot of clouds today so anyway um, maybe you can see a little bit up there but you know you do have your volume button here as well and you can tune through the stations you don't always have to use the steering wheel and um, so there's your four-wheel drive system there's your shifter now the shifter all you do is turn it I'm gonna put it in reverse right now just to show you the backup camera shows on the big screen and you do have your parking sensors uh, show up kind of like let you know that you know you've got your radar system ready to go so if you back up and hit something then you can't blame anybody else so that's how you, you shift the truck into different gears, just like that. Four-wheel drive, you just push a button. And over here, there's your ride height control. There's your heated and ventilated seats, as well as heated steering wheel controls. As, you know, those are redundant buttons. You can also uh, turn off your parking sensors in the front or rear if you need to. 
your tow and haul button, traction control. You've got a pocket there. Pocket there, you have a, a 150 watt, 115 volt AC adapter. So you can plug in a laptop or something. It's not gonna run a hair dryer or anything like that. And right here is your cup holders and a big storage pocket. Power supply, place to put some business cards. Pocket there. This is your armrest. It's soft, it's very comfortable, it feels just as comfortable as the seats almost. And um, this lifts up and this is where you'll find a nice big uh, spot to put maybe a tablet or something. And you place to put wires in and out of it on both sides. But you also have a USB charger as well as a USB input, auxiliary and SD card inputs here for your radio system. And you access those through the media icon here. All right, this is where your secret CD player is. I bet you never guessed it was there, but that's where it is. And you have a nice big pocket to put stuff. And um, so that's pretty handy. Up here we have an assistance button as well as a 911 button. You can actually call, push that assistance button and it'll talk to an operator and set up your Uconnect system. Auto dim rear view mirror. On the top of the rear view mirror is your microphones for your Bluetooth. Right here is your garage door openers. And one of these, there's two of these holes. One of them is for infrared, uh, like a temperature sensor, and one of them is a light. I can't remember which one is which. But um, they also have a, a power sliding glass. Which that, that's what that button's for. You have some tap lights. And this one has a sunroof. So, I mean, you can vent it. You can also open it up, open it and close it using these buttons here. And somebody told me about these things up here. It's made for keeping the wind from making a noise while you're driving real fast. All right, let's take a look. Before we look under the hood, I just want to show you the window sticker. So we can kind of look at the features because there's no way I can remember all the features because this thing is loaded. Now, I know some people are like, hey, that's not a 2015, that's a 14 or a 12 or something. So there it is, 15. All right, let's look at the engine. All right, 5.7 liter Hemi V8. You've got your uh, batteries insulated. Everything's color coded here. If you have any questions, comments, corrections, anything like that, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.